Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're looking at Africa's largest drone factory opens in Abuja, Nigeria. Today we're looking at Terra Optics. This is a Nigerian startup company and they're involved in robotics and they're based in Africa. In Nigeria to be specific, I must say, based on what I've seen from this company so far, it is absolutely impressive and I want to see more from African startups. And this is what we want to share as a channel. Now it's very interesting to see what the company has produced so far and what they've accomplished so far. It's very interesting to see the products that they're able to offer. Archer, security and surveillance drones. This is a company that's in Nigeria that's producing this technology. This is absolutely incredible. What do they have to say about this? Here's what the company has to say on their website. The Archer security and surveillance drones are designed to provide advanced aerial security and surveillance functionalities. They offer real-time monitoring, remote inspection, and data collection in various environments. These features make them ideal for security and law enforcement agency and industries that require enhanced situational awareness. Archer is suitable for all terrains, with a great combination of ruggedness, sleek design, and efficiency. But it gets even more incredible. Why do I say this? Because this company, they've managed to develop a software, an autonomous operating system, Artemis OS, Artemis Operating System. It's a proprietary operating system and artificial intelligence platform that enables any machine to become autonomous. This is what the company has to say. A centralized generative AI core within Artemis OS facilitates advanced planning and decision making, while also allowing edge inference on the autonomous system. So these images, these screenshots, they give you an example of what this system includes. What else does this company manufacture? I'm glad you ask. Callan Sentry Tower Stationary Surveillance Platform. And this is what the company has to say. The Callan Sentry Tower is a Terra Haptics premier stationary autonomous platform designed to provide comprehensive surveillance, threat detection, coordinated response capability for high security applications. Powered by company's proprietary Artemis OS, the Callan Sentry Tower leverages advanced AI, sensor fusion, and real-time decision-making to enable a robust and protective secure Parameter. So this is what the company has to offer so far, but it's still a new company. It is still a startup. It is still within its infancy. It is still within the foundation stage of development, which is why long term, I can see great things coming from companies like this, this company to be specific, but also other companies who intend to pursue robotics, engineering, software development and application development. But what is the company's mission statement? What do they have to say for themselves? Here's a little thing about the company that I found on their website. Emerging markets are losing billions of dollars each year across core industries such as agriculture, energy, mining, to lack of automation. But foreign unarmed systems are just expensive and lack the necessary support system needed for emerging economies. So essentially what the company is attempting to do is to solve a problem that is currently hindering plenty of industries around the world. And these industries include Africa. Terra Aptics is a robotic company building low-cost, unmanned systems for core industries. This is what they have to say. We're working on a mission to accelerate automation emerging markets. Humanity is now entering an autonomous age. The developing world must not be left behind. So what are they building? This is what they had to say. Our cutting edge robotic solutions are engineered for a variety of applications, including civic, military, surveillance, and payload operations. So of course we know that these are some of their products that they offer so far. These products will continue to advance. I'm telling you, give this company a few years, five to 10 years, and you might be surprised what they accomplish in such a short time. Because if you do your research using Google, you will find out quickly that they're actually actively solving a real problem. The things they talk about are actively happening in the world. These are real problems that people are experiencing. Industries are experiencing because of a lack of autonomy, a lack of robotics, a lack of surveillance and security, companies still lose billions of dollars. 
So they're actively solving this problem. And this is what makes them quite unique. We've seen within many great companies that accomplish great things, one of the most important things that sets them apart is the fact that they do target the audience, the industry, that is having the most problem. They're targeting the industry that needs a solution. Are you solving a problem? And as far as I can see, this company is definitely aiming to solve problems. Now, I remember when I first heard about this company, I saw it on Twitter X. What I first saw about this company is that they acquired a factory in Nigeria. This was launch day, June the 15th. And they had this to say, we're excited to announce the launch of our Abuja robotic factory. It looks like locally, they're actively testing their technology also. They had this to say, industrialization has been acknowledged as a critical engine for growth, prosperity, job creation, and improved living standards. Yet Africa, Nigeria in particular, is less industrialized today than it was 30 to 40 years ago. They said, and I quote, we at TerraHaptics are looking to change that by building state-of-the-art robotics and autonomous technology, and we're going to change that. And I'm really happy to see this sort of enthusiasm from the young generation of engineers and entrepreneurs, the innovators of the future that are innovating within Africa. This is brilliant to see. So they're available on a few different social platforms, including Twitter and LinkedIn. I do follow them on Twitter, and I'm happy to see the constant updates that they do post on Twitter. For instance, on August the 19th, they posted, announcing the biggest contract yet. Nine months ago, we started Terra Haptics with the goal to solve Africa's automation and security crisis. We recently won a $500,000 contract to produce and supply 70 Archer VTOL drones to Ghana for large-scale agricultural operations. This is absolutely incredible. Do you see this? This is already happening. This is what you call actively participating in your local economy and trying to solve problems. And when you try to solve problems and you do a good job, you actually get people who are hiring you, such as Ghana. They're now working with Ghana. This is that article in mind. This is that article explaining what has really happened. GEM Solutions, a leading drone service provider, will use archers to streamline mapping and reconnaissance operations for thousands of farmers in Ghana. The company previously acquired European UAS systems for their large-scale mapping before switching to TerraHaptics. The decision to award the contract to TerraHaptics was based on the superior range, flight autonomy, and sensor quality of the Archer USA of the Archer UAS, which also offers competitive pricing and robust warranty terms. The vertical takeoff and landing capabilities Archer drones provide GEM solutions with a tactical reconnaissance and mapping system that meets stringent requirements for range, flight time, and sensor capabilities. It has a flight duration of up to four hours and is equipped to multiple spectral capabilities such as optical and in and infrared cameras for day and night operations under challenging conditions. Terror Haptics chairman had to say this, and I quote, we're proud to be selected by GEM Solutions to provide our advanced Archer UAS to support agriculture operations in Ghana. Our collaboration with GEM Solutions make a significant milestone in our missions to support regional initiatives aimed at industrializing Africa, end quote. I am telling you, this is absolutely incredible. I'm happy to share these stories, of course, because it is such a revolutionary story. It is such a revolutionary idea and the company itself and the individuals that have founded this company. Credit to them. Credit to the founders, the creators, the programmers, the manufacturers who are involved at TerraHaptics. And I'm sure this contract will be much beneficial to the company and its founders. I'm sure this will help the company propel themselves into the future to not just provide the system for local countries, but also to reach out to other countries within West Africa, within North Africa, East Africa, and Southern Africa. I'm telling you, this contract on its own, $500,000, this will influence a big shift in what this company is able to do and to produce.
I'm happy to see such innovation and competitiveness happen in Africa, especially in Nigeria, which I've always thought was some of the most talented people on this planet and some of the most entrepreneurial people on this planet, no doubt. This is a video I saw that they posted as well. Duma Ground Drone just completed a successful load pull test at the factory using a car. One ton in payload. This is real. This is what they're building. This is absolutely incredible. I'm going to turn down the audio because it's a little bit loud, but this is absolutely incredible. So you see, they're not just making drones for the sky. They're making grown operating drones as well. And these are more basic prototypes. Like I said, with the correct funding, with the correct leadership, they will do absolutely incredible things. These are the young people that are driving the future forward. To get a better look at what this prototype drone looks like, this is what it looks like in its most basic form. So you can see that even in its most basic form, it is capable of much even in its most basic form. I'm, I'm so excited to follow this company and to see what else they can create in the future. I cannot wait to see how their technology will continue to advance. I cannot wait to see how their their industry will continue to get more competitive. I'm telling you, competition, especially in West Africa with this sort of innovation, will help all of them. And you know why? This is why all boats rise with the tide. In other words, when the tides come in, when the ocean level rises, all boats rise. When the rain comes, we all get water. And I'm quite sure they have much more plan for their development. Another post from Teraptics introduced an archer, an autonomous UAV for multi-mission capabilities, including aerial reconnaissance, counter intrusion, and signals intelligence. Absolutely amazing. This was a prototype. This was back in March earlier this year. And look what they've managed to accomplish so far. And look what they've managed to accomplish so far. It is brilliant to see. This is another look at their this is another look at their surveillance system. Not just the operating software, but also the actual surveillance security system. This is built by them. This is absolutely incredible. I love to see this. With a few additional information, I will leave this video. Like I said, Terra Aptics, a Nigerian robotics startup, opened a 15,000 square foot drone factory in Abuja. The VC-backed startup design, manufactures, and sell autonomous drones. The factory will produce drones for World Cure Industry. But it's incredible that this was noted, located in Indu Industrial District, Abuja. The factory has capacity to produce 10,000 drones annually. That will be absolutely incredible. This essentially makes TerraOptics the largest drone producer in Africa, the largest drone manufacturer in Africa. The company developed in-house, including the airframe, flight computers, firmware, powertrain, and the flight OS. The company plans to have full production life cycles in the same space. The complete process from design to development, prototyping, manufacturing, and production will take place within the factory's walls. The company also produced all the parts and components in-house, including airframe. To accommodate all the processes, the factory includes a research and development lab, a 3D printing facility, a machine shop, and a manufacturing line. This strategy exempts TerraOptics from challenges of fragmented supply chain, expensive labor, and high operation costs faced by most drone companies. Essentially, if they're able to manufacture their own components, they wouldn't have to rely on others so much which it seems like they're doing a great deal of. It looks like majority of their components, they want to manufacture that with in-house because that way you can control your supply chain. That way you don't have to order them and you don't have to deal with delays and backlog and shortages and high prices. You simply manufacture your own components and build your own drones. That is absolutely incredible. And keep in mind, TerraHaptics is set up to produce locally and sell globally. They're not just targeting Africa. Africa is the starting ground, but they're targeting global effectiveness. And that is incredible to see. TerraHaptics' mission is to transform the world's core industry with drones. 
aiming to hit a production mark of 100,000 drones annually by 2030. That is six years away. Do I think they can accomplish that? Of course I do. I really do. Because if the technology is viable, if the technology is good, they will get more clients and they will get more funding, which means that they'll be able to increase their employees' numbers, they'll be able to increase their factory numbers, their efficiency rate, and not to mention repeat of customers. This is brilliant to see. So thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. Leave a like and leave a comment to join this community. And I will see you in our next video. Thank you for watching.